see you all so happy and jolly today. No, uh, no exec student council meeting today as we are celebrating Halloween. It's important business. Um, so during lunch we'll have the Halloween runway. There's gonna be music. Um, it's not gonna be for class points, just for fun. So if you have a costume you want to show off, just meet in the quad. Also, uh, Mr. Martin informed us today that the fall, the fall fair prices are officially up. So check with him if you want to know how much your booth made. Also, uh, JSA. Tomorrow is the official last day. If you guys want to go to Fall State, let me know and we'll be able to figure out what the situation is. So tomorrow, B-Day. And adding on to the Fall Fair thing, the prices are actually on the bulletin board uh, right across from Mr. Harmon's office. So just check that for your prices. Well, uh, Halloween's a scary time of year. And to help make it a little scarier, we're going to do a lockdown drill this afternoon. Yes. Now, I know a lot of you have done lockdown drills in the past, but today we're going to do a lockdown drill with zombies as a threat. <laughs> so, uh, I have, on good authority, I, I uh, reliable sources, the zombies will probably be on campus this afternoon towards the end of fifth period, right before work jobs. And so, what do you do if you see a, a zombie? No, no, no. Well, first, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, how do I know if it's a good zombie or a bad zombie? So, a bad zombie will have a hard hat on. So if you see a zombie with a hard hat, that's a bad zombie. They're protecting their brains. They mean business, right? So what you do is you... Uh, Tell a teacher, tell an adult, so we can activate our lockdown procedures. And as a student, what you'll do is go to the nearest safe building. The nearest safe building. And what you do in those lockdowns, you lock the doors, close the windows, cover the windows, lay low, keep quiet, turn the lights off, and just wait for further instructions. Your teachers will know what to do. Uh, so the whole idea is we're locking down, and the zombies are going to be around campus. They're going to be going around our buildings, checking for uh, weak points in, the, in our buildings to see if they can get in. So they'll be checking doors and windows. Okay. So uh, once the zombies are subdued, so we have uh, Mr. Franklin or uh, Mr. Kirkland and Sanchez on the job. So once the zombies are taken care of, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next phase, which is a reunification. So reunification, that's just a fancy word for orderly dismissal. So if we're going to close school early for whatever reason, you know, zombie apocalypse or whatever the reason might be, uh, what we have you do is go to your class meeting locations. So just like your normal class meeting locations, I guess the only difference is the ninth graders, instead of going to the, uh, the, the terrace, you're going to the gym. Okay? And then we'll have uh, faculty and staff taking attendance, making sure you're all accounted for. And if this was a real reunification, a real early release, uh, sorry there's not a early release today, uh, we would notify your parents, and the parents, your parents would come, park in the upper parking lot, and they would come and meet you at your class meeting location, sign you out, and so you could go at that point. So this is going to happen again this afternoon, okay? Any questions? Any questions? Okay, have fun. Well, this is the time of year when music students are auditioning for honor groups. It's very scary. About 10 uh, singers put their lives on the line yesterday for the live edition for the high school honor group. So we haven't got the results yet, but we do have the results for the middle school honor choir. I'm delighted to announce that Maris Welch will be part of the CCS middle school honor choir. Greetings, this one reminds you to sign up for sports and health and fitness before we get to the new session which starts next Monday. So go online and sign up. I heard a lot of people saying they're gonna play on some of these sports teams, but when I check the list, there's nobody there. Very few, yes? Where do we sign up again? Go right to the York page. This puts, is it up again? It's, it's on Facebook. It's on Facebook as well. So if you go to york.org, it'll direct you to Facebook. You don't even need to have a Facebook account, but the link is there. There you go, problem solved. Okay, thank you. Did you know you can get community service hours for going trick-or-treating? If you grab 10 of these bags and take them to 10 of your neighbor's houses, knock on the door, 
say trick or treat, and then actually hand them a bag and say you'll be back on Saturday to collect. It says right in here that you can get service hours for that. So 30 people take 10 bags, that's 300 bags of food. There's lots of hungry, hungry people, so clean out the bag supply, go trick or treating tonight.
it's home, it's against Santa and Catalina, it's going to be a really intense game. So please support us for the last game. Woo! Woo! Um, Q&A meeting tomorrow, bring your $3 even if you didn't go to fall fair. Also, I lost my water bottle, if you found it, I just bought it. Please let me know, it's gray and beautiful. <laughs> Everyone had fun at the Halloween dance last week, but a few of you guys have IOUs and we want, want you to pay you pay student council back. And you know who you are, and if you don't, we know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are going to the Stanford conference, uh, just a reminder that your policy papers are due tomorrow if you want to be eligible for our delegate awards. Also, I need your checks as soon as possible, and if you haven't paid MUN back, um, from the chips and salsa sale, please do so immediately. Thank you. So, um, Cafe Night is going to be November 9th. That's a Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. There's going to be free food. <laughs> dessert that hates the country of Ethiopia. They're calling it Chocolate Mussolini. Uh. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was an optometrist who thought it would be very funny to jump inside a lens grinder. He really made a spectacle of himself. Uh. <laughs> Recently, I've been diving into some of my family history and I found that a small portion of my distant relatives were actually victim to a serial murderer, and his methods were actually very brutal. He would take the bones of his victims and bake them into a Kaiser roll. So please, don't make fun of me because part of my family is inbred. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, it's gonna be rugged. So <laughs> <laughs> <Go to class. laughs> 